what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? So I have an unboxing for you guys today. I ordered a new knife. And I ordered the Spyderco Manix 2. I'm going to kind of open this, give you guys my first impression of it, and kind of go over some of the reasons why I liked it and give how I feel about the, or why I had ordered it, and um, how I feel about the knife on my first um, experience with it. Now I haven't opened this yet, I just got it in the mail today, so you know, we'll see what I think about it. And I got this off uh, Knife Center, I ordered it for about a hundred bucks, and I was actually very impressed by their uh, shipping. I had ordered it a couple days ago and they had it shipped, sent out, and it arrived today, so I was very impressed by that. And they also, I found a coupon code for them, they also sent me a little, um, it's the CRKT Snailer Small, like a little bottle opener guy. It says, Snailer Small, CRKT, designed by Jesper Voxness, I hope I said that right. It says it's a bottle opener, keychain tool, zipper pull tab. Okay, I can see how it's a bottle opener, but I'm not sure about the other two things. So maybe I'll do a review on this in my um, in a future video. Oh, it even has on the back here. It shows where the bottle opener and keychain and zipper pull tab are. You guys can see the back of that. In here, I guess, is the other two tools, and I'm not quite sure how this uh, middle part acts as a tool, but I guess I'll find out whenever I start using it. Okay, so before we get into the unboxing, let me go over why I ordered this first. So I would wanted a little bit of a bigger knife, something that was gonna hold an edge a little bit better. And I've been carrying the um, Gerber Paraframe Mini for the last probably year and a half, two years. And I like this little guy. I originally had the full size Paraframe, but I lost it. And they didn't have the straight edge Paraframe in stock for the full size whenever I ordered this. So I got this one. I don't like the serrated edge knives. I'm just not a big fan of them. So I got the mini. And I've liked it. It's very lightweight. Fits in your pocket very well. As you can see, it's not really, it's maybe the size of my hand. And it's cut, it cut, it cut pretty decently for the most part. I had trouble cutting bigger things with it, obviously, because it's a smaller knife. But aside from that, I really liked it. It has a liner lock on it. But I wanted something a little bit bigger than this. So since I'd had good luck with Gerber's products in the past, I decided to go on their website about two weeks ago and order the Gerber One Flip. Now the blue on this was about the only thing I liked about this once I got it in. I didn't realize when I ordered it, it had a gold blade on it. Which wasn't that big of a deal because I've taken a nail file and kind of taken some of that off. I kind of like the look it gave it, kind of like an antique look. But that's only an aesthetic thing. So the more I started to use it, which was only after a couple days, and I put off ordering again for a couple weeks, but I had it for maybe three days, and I found all kinds of things I didn't like about it. I don't like the weight of it, I didn't like how it cut, I didn't like the feel of it, you know, it's very smooth. I thought it'd be grippy because of the um, design here, it is not. I was afraid that whenever I would use it, my hands were wet or sweaty then it would slip out of my hands so I decided to say screw it and I couldn't return it because I had started to take off that gold plating on it or gold coloring on it I'd seen Spyderco knives in other YouTube reviews in the past I kind of put off looking at them and shopping with them because of the price but after getting this and not liking it I think I spent 40 bucks on this and this was about maybe 15 bucks but after wasting $40 on this, pretty much, I decided to pull the trigger and order the Spyderco Manix 2. So this is what the box looks like. So let's talk about the outside packaging and work our way in. So I'm actually very impressed by the packaging on this. The box is very nice. I like that they gave it that smooth finish. Uh, I like the coloring on it. The black and the red really go well together and the little gold spider there in the middle kind of makes it pop very well. Let's see here, the side says Spyderco, knives and accessories, Golden Colorado USA. Front says Spyderco, other side says the same thing. Back says, kind of zoom that in for you. Spyderco knives and accessories and then Spyderco trademark ground hole. 
I don't know what the round hole is, we'll find out. Reliable high performance, refined ergonomics, and superior blade steel. Warning, cancer and reproductive harm. Okay, that's a California warning thing. It's on like anything anymore. And then the bottom here says, okay, it has the model, Manix 2 blue pin, and made in USA, GT. And just a barcode on the bottom there. Top just says Spider Co. Okay, so I do like also that they didn't tape the box shut, so you can definitely um, definitely save the box and reuse it. So I guess like if you're gonna get a new knife and you want to kind of store this one away, you can put it back in the box. So that's kind of cool. So it pushes out a little tray here, and I do like that. So we got the knife. It's in just a plastic wrapper. We got a little user manual. Okay, I've never had a user manual with a knife before. So that's kind of cool. We'll kind of glance and graze over that. And there's a little, it's not gonna come out. Okay, a little foam padding. Okay, so they put that in there to protect it, keep it from um, bouncing around. The only thing I'll say about the night, the packaging is, I wish they kind of put a, um, like a foam, better foam insert in here that actually held the knife in place. I feel like that would have definitely um, up their game on that and it would have protected the knife a little bit better, but I guess it's not gonna damage it too much. So that's more um, a personal preference, I guess, for myself. So before we get into the manual, let's uh, open the knife and it, the bag's not taped, so it just pops out. Okay, so right away, I'm definitely liking the aesthetics on this, the looks of it, definitely liking that. I like that dark blue and it's kind of translucent looking. I have a flashlight here. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So good job on the um, uh, design of it so far. I'm really liking it. You've got a little hole right here. I'm not sure if that's the trademark round hole they're talking about or not. There's one right here. Maybe it's both of them. I'm not sure. And there's a little black thing right here. So I'm not seeing any kind of a liner lock before I open it. So I'm guessing that's to close it after you open it. So let's, so maybe this is to, okay. I guess that's so you can open it one hand. That's kind of cool. And I've seen other videos talk about, and that's how I've seen them open it in other videos. So that's what I'm assuming that holes for. I'm guessing it's not just there for aesthetic purposes. So the blade is, I'm liking that. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that tapping sound or not, but it's definitely got a nicer tone to it than the one flip. It's more of a dull sound. And I hope you guys can hear the sound off my uh, microphone on my headphones here. And this one's also more of a dull sound. Okay, so I got it open here and it says Spyderco CTS BD1N. Not sure what that's for. Maybe that's the, um, some kind of model number or something. And then the other side says Golden Colorado USA Earth. Okay. Now this side has a little spider logo on it. And this side, it has a little logo down here. I'm not sure what that guy's for by the uh, Golden Colorado. I guess we'll find out as we go along. Okay, so there is not a liner lock on this, so that's what this little black uh, nugget's for. I'm guessing, okay, so yeah, it pulls down. Oh, that's good, I like that. It's a little bit safer than the liner lock. You don't have to worry about getting your fingers in the way whenever you close it. Both these guys have a liner lock on them. I'll show you on this one since it's bigger but whenever I close that, my fingers are under the blade. And it's not even loose. So yeah, I'm definitely not liking the Gerber one flip. So whenever I close that one, my fingers are in the way and I might cut myself if I'm not paying attention. This one, I can just do that. Okay, so it's definitely a lot safer than the other one. I'm sure they do make liner lock knives too. Looks like it's some kind of spring in there it does that and you definitely can't see down in there you can probably see a little black thing in there but it's a spring that um 
lets it close. Okay, cool. Okay, now I don't want to mess with the blade too much and determine the sharpness yet because I want to cut. Uh, I have a piece of cardboard here. I want to use it to cut that so that we can see on camera what, how well it actually works. It's got some ridges here. Let you guys kind of see that. And it's got the same ridges on the bottom here. And this fits my hand perfectly. I like how that fits my hand. It's got a nice feel in it. Very nice feel. And it's, this one's very grippy, so <laughs> I definitely like that. I'm not sure what the handle's made out of, but it's definitely very grippy. It's not, definitely not slippery like this one is. And even the pair frame's really not that slippery. So I'm assuming that's because of the little uh, notches there. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this guy up. And I like the clip on this too. It'll definitely sit down in your pocket as opposed to, let's actually compare it to the clips on the other two knives I have here. So it looks like it's a little bit longer than the one flip. Yeah, definitely a little bit longer than the one flip clip. Try and get them side by side there. And obviously it's gonna be longer than the uh, paraframes clip because the paraframes is a very tiny knife. Okay, there we go, I was covering it up. Okay, actually that clip's not that small. I thought it'd be smaller than that. But comparing them, it's actually, the clip on the paraframes might actually be the same size. There we go. Yeah, the paraframe clip's about the same size as the one flip. But we're not talking about them now. We're talking about the uh, Manix 2. So it looks like also for the uh, clip on this, you can actually change the sides. I don't know if you can see the little screw there or not. It's got a little indentation, and it has an indentation on this side. I'm guessing that screw comes out so that you can change the sides on this and uh, carry it in either your left or your right pocket, depending on what hand you use. So that's definitely a plus, so that you're not, like this, you're kind of stuck carrying it. Um, I guess you're not stuck, but if you want the blade to come out and be like that, you have to do it in your right pocket. Whereas if you would do it left-handed, you're gonna pull it out and it's gonna be behind you. Not that that's a big deal. Uh, you can just flip it around. But it's just a nice little touch that they gave to it. So they definitely get points for that. So, so far I don't see anything wrong with this knife. So let's go ahead and get it, open it back up. Very easy to open. And this is very lightweight too, extremely lightweight. Like I said, this is a heavy knife, and it's actually a little bit bigger than the one flip. A little bit wider, I guess. They're about the same length. But the Manix 2 is definitely a lot wider than the uh, one flip. And this has the same weight to it as the Paraframe does. So very impressed by that. You're not gonna have a lot of weight uh, bogging you down, especially for the size of this. So let's set that there. We're gonna cut this piece of cardboard here in a minute with it. And let's read from the manual. So it says Spyderco product information and warranty guy. That's what it looks like. Very sleek colors, I like that. And I kinda like the uh, how they did the spider kind of metal looking on this. That's kinda cool. So we got, oh we got, we got some reading here. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm just gonna kinda glance over it. And it's gonna be hard to read that, but. That's how much you got. And you got these, uh, I'm guessing these are the different um, designs of the Manix 2 you can get. So it's kind of cool they show you a picture of all of them. So it says, Manix 2 Lightweight Family, dear Spider Co owner, congratulates me on my purchase. Kind of goes over the history of the Manix 2. Let's see if it says what kind of steel this is. I'm kind of curious. So it was originally produced in CTS BD1. I guess that's the type of steel. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not familiar with different types of steels. In 2019, they transitioned the steel to nitrogen-enriched CTS BD1N. So they got a little 
uh, N on there. I guess the end makes it better. And it says the blade is leaf shaped, which I did notice that. I didn't really put two and two together until I read that, but that is kind of cool. I like how it's shaped. Like a little leaf. I mean, I did notice it, but I didn't uh, realize it. Okay, so we got, okay, the handle. This is what I was interested in to see what the handle was made of. It's a lightweight handle, it is injection molded from translucent. FRCP, it includes Spyderco's distinctive bi-directional texturing pattern to ensure a secure grip in all environmental conditions. So that's very nice. If you're working, um, doing a lot of hands-on work and you're cutting uh, anything that's oily or wet, it's not gonna come out of your hands. So I definitely like that. And this is what I was talking about whenever I said it was uh, see-through and whenever they say it's translucent, it might just look dark blue in the camera. And I apologize for the blinding glare, but you can see the light through that. That definitely gives it an added aesthetic. And once again, I apologize for the glare. <laughs> Don't stop watching because of that, please. Okay, so we got linking blade handle. Okay, the lock is the ball bearing locking mechanism. Apparently it's high strength, consists of ball bearing nesting within a durable textured polymer cage. So I guess that protects it from uh, rusting or anything. And then it just has about maintaining it, make sure you oil it so it doesn't rust and all that. And then the back is just the limited warranty. Okay, what Spyderco will do, I'm guessing, okay, so this is if it fails to function. I guess you send it back to them and they'll examine its condition upon its return to Spyderco and determine the cause of the failure. If we determine that there is a defect in the manufacturer materials or workmanship of your Spyderco product, they will repair or exchange that product with the same or similar model or one of equal value. So I'm guessing they'll either send you the, if there's something wrong with it and you send it back to them, they'll either replace it with the same thing if they can't fix it, or they'll let you pick out a uh, new one for the same price. I guess that would just depend on who uh, handles your uh, repair. And they just have their phone number, their email, and all that stuff. And then something about state laws, it says, Pretty much telling you to be responsible and check your local state laws because depending on where you live at sometimes yeah, certain knives or the legality of certain lives knives is iffy certain lives is iffy <laughs> okay so that's uh pretty much the rundown of the manual here i like that they did that that's uh, a little bit of an extra step that they put in there so so far it's a 10 out of 10 on these guys all right so let's start cutting something Obviously, it's gonna cut paper, so I'm not gonna bother with paper. I got a piece of cardboard from a pizza box here. Let's go ahead and... Okay. Okay, decently sharp. I like that, okay, cool. Now, just to give you an example, that's the Spyderco Manix 2. This was the Gerber 1 flip. Now, I haven't used this that much, so it's still pretty much the same sharpness it is out of the box. And that is struggling. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this little... It barely even shaves it off. Whereas the Spyderco takes that right off. And I'm not gonna do my arm hairs like some people do, because then my arm's gonna be issue. So we're gonna deal with the box. Okay, so I'm really liking the sharpness of that. Let's fold this in half and see how well it cuts that. All right, Spyderco, let's see what you got. It's thicker, so I have to struggle with it, but it's still cutting it, all right. And let's see. Ah, uh, okay, it stopped me there. But I kind of expected that too because it's thicker and uh, I think that's more of a trying to get it to pull down through than anything. And let's... All right, so it... It did it unfolded, didn't do it folded though. Oh, that's cool, it's like a little spaceship. Let's run away. Let's go to the Bahamas or something, or the moon. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's about it for you guys. I'm extremely satisfied with the Spyderco Manix 2. 
as of right now, my first impression of this, um, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm quite curious how, the, how well this is going to hold an edge and how long it's going to stay sharp and if I can even get it to be a little bit uh, sharper. Oh, and it's pointed too, so you can shank people with it if you want to. Cool. Shake knives are always good. This is a good little shank knife too. A uh, paraphrase mini. And it's very uh, subtle too. But it's got that little point there, okay? Shanker, little shanker, get a little twist. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And make sure you check out my other video from this week if you're looking for a new pair of uh, cowboy boots or your first pair. I did a review on the um, Ariat Heritage boot. It's a great starter boot, great first boot, or just a great kick around pair of boots you don't have to worry about. Thank you guys so much. I hope the, my unboxing helped you guys decide if you are trying to um, looking at purchasing the Manix 2. I hope this might have helped you decide whether or not uh, you're going to go ahead and purchase it or not. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Take care. I'll see you next time.